I made a race and welcome back to the backseat game on the first take. Gamescom 2016 is going on as we speak. Bunch of traders been dropping last day or two. Completely forgot when it actually started. Like I was like, ooh, ooh, where the fuck did this come from? So let's get into these, man. Battlefield, one which really impressed. Really impressed during um, E3. I don't think a lot of people saw coming in terms of it looking as good as it did or striking the nerve as much as it did based in um, World War 1 I, I believe so yeah we've got a new trailer so kind of looking forward to this man gameplay so let's check this out let's see what new things they have up this sleeve in game footage as well okay gonna be in there. Wow! Wow! I, 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 I don't know why, but that's kind of shocked me. Lawrence, you can play as Lawrence of a fucking Arabia or in that shit. There's another trailer. It's attached to something else. Is this the one from um, E3? Yes, yeah, the E3 one. Are you gonna get us all killed? Keep watching it again. It was a wicked train. HTC Vive, because at the moment it's, it's the best in terms of the, the technology, but like every game I look at now, no point in mentioning that, is I'm looking at it from the perspective of what it would be like. I don't know whether they've enabled this in VR, but the way I see it, it's just a matter of time before even games which aren't released initially from VR will be directly you know, adapted to it. I don't know what you guys were mentioning that uh, when I did the trailer reaction to uh, Modern Warfare, Infinite Warfare when I was in space and showed the E3 that that's not actually going to be released as VR but the fact that they're letting people at E3 play the demo of it in VR shows that the capability is there so it's a matter of time man before down the road they do that shit and I'm willing, I'm willing to jump right into that whole VR shit, I swear so like I say, I don't think this initially will be a VR release, I haven't heard them mention that, but even if it ain't, it will be at some point, I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. And Jesus, what an experience that will be if it looks as good as that. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Dude, that whole Lawrence of Raven thing has got me kind of spinning still. 
I like that. I really do, man. How excited are you for this? I know a few people were mentioning with the first trailer reaction I did for this for E3 that it's, you know, they feel like they're kind of burnt out on it. And I don't know what it is. I just think it's something to do with the presentation of it, but I'm, I'm lapping it up. You know, like, first person shooters, they're kind of dime a dozen at this point. But the whole World War I, I don't think I've seen the World War One game first person shooter look like this. And I think that's the difference. Even though there have been, you know, many World War One shooters before. I don't know, this seems to have a certain vibrance that I ain't never seen in any previous releases yet. I don't know, I just, I just kind of, it's exciting. And that's, that's what these games should be. I don't know, how excited for you this man, or are you burnt out on it, you looking for side kills, you looking more towards the future rather than going into the past with, with uh, POV shooters, uh, let me know guys, and what about the VR prospects of this, regardless of whether it is initially or not, you know, enabled as VR, you know, at some point, would you prefer... I'm kind of imagining there's going to be people that want to resist that, that are going to just want to prefer just sitting with a controller in their hand in front of a flash screen. You know, or like me, are you willing to just dive right in and you just want it all, all to just surround you and be enveloped in that shit? I don't know. Let me know, guys. Write comments down below. If you like the video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I am at a reason this has been my reaction to Battlefield 1 gameplay trailer, Gamescom 2016. Good man.